Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendaidukai and in this video I show you how you can use your drum machine in Bitwig, Ableton, Logic or any other DAW on your hardware groovebox or MPC more efficiently. Since I put a lot of work and knowledge into my videos and make them freely available, I would be very happy if you leave me a thumbs up here and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and the best of you, share this video. But let's get started. If you still need drum machine basics and various percussion tips, I have a linked uh, I have linked a playlist with my videos in the video description. So you start with your drum machine and you want to build a nice beat. You put emphasis on the hi hats and snares with ghost notes or similar. Of course, it is necessary to play with the velocities. If I put the hi hat on a separate track, then I put the hi hats with different velocities on different notes. This way, let me show you. I do it normally like that here. Um, this way I can visually distinguish them and um, also um, always select all with the same velocity with one mouse click. Um, I have a video percussion workflow humanize a leveling velocity spread for this. Um, that's in the playlist too, of course. On um, the drum machine, various uh, percussion instruments are on the individual notes by default. So I went back using the velocities. But this is not necessary because here um, the hi-hat can also be spread over different pads and thus notes. This has some additional advantages, but um, let me show you. Let's go on the drum machine here. So I have here a drum machine with a hi-hat from a sample. The decay of the sampler um, is set to three quarter, the sustain to zero, and the velocity is um, also set to zero. Behind this, the, or in the FX device, there's a tool device um, um, that, uh, that switches the slightly panned stereo sample to mono. And at the end of the track, there's a peak limiter to keep the drums under control. So by default, I have um, three, why is it not? Oh, it's me. <laughs> um, by default, I have three different um, velocities on the heads, but I create another head as a reserve. And now I copy this head three times and um, adjust the name in a bit. So this is head two, then this is head three, and this is head four. So now I have four identical heads, and now I paint some notes with the full velocity into a clip. So let's go to the clip over here, and now I paint the head no let's do it like this and this and this and this and this for example so now if i play that <laughs> this sounds like a machine gun. So I adjust the velocities with the volume control of the um, head's sampler device. So head is my loudest, head, head one is my loudest hi-hat, head two is a little bit um, lower in volume, for example like that. And head three is the head with the lowest volume. Something like that, for example. Okay. 
Then I can change the panning in the different heads, for example. But this I can't do over here in the sampler device because after the sampler device, I put uh, the tool device in here to put the whole sample on mono. So I have to, because of the signal flow, I have to pen my sample in the tool device. So I selected head two here and um, play it again and put it a little bit on the right. And head three, I put here on the left. So now with the simple with this simple workflow, um, I already have different velocities and different pennings over the different velocities. And um, of course, I can still load effects on the, into the return of the drum machine. And if your drum machine doesn't have that, you can route that normally to aux buses with send controls. So I add here, for example, a reverb and default settings and a delay to, for example, and may, maybe I have to yeah, take the tune off and put the um, high pass above. Then I open the inspector because I want to put them somewhere here with the dial in. The, the head two I put, for example, into the reverb. And the head three I put into delay. Ah, okay. What I do additionally is I, oops, no, I want to let it on. Um, I change for the different heads uh, the decay time. So the first head has the full decay and the second head has a shorter decay. Something like this, for example, and the third one Maybe like that. I think that's okay. So, and with the fourth one, I do some uh, modulation stuff. Um, I put in here a steps modulator and um, modulate the filter. Um, and maybe I turn on the filter and have the resonance on, for example, like here, so it's a little bit prominenter. And in, in other D DAWs, you have um, you also have modulations options, for example, via LFO, um, and you, co you could use them um, for that uh, too, of course. So now I use uh, the steps modulator, put it on bipolar, then I had this, I don't know what this is, but this is just, come on, <laughs> this is just, I think, something with the display. I'm not really sure why this happens. That's, that's strange. I know it's, it's it's changing. Maybe I have to start again. No. Okay, I put some notes over here. For example, one here, one here, one here, and the last one over here. And you see it changed. Maybe it it needed some notes. I don't know. Okay, then modulate it. Okay, doesn't work again.
maybe like that. Put it on free running, for example. Oh, that's that's harsh. For example. Okay. So um, you can use the same workflow for all kinds of percussion elements, of course, and um, you'll have to um, you have a, a much better overview over all the elements that you can easily select and change. And you also have a very simple additional option of what you want to do with the percussions, including the advantage that it is much easier to play around uh, with it in a live situation. For me, this quite simple workflow move is a big gain. How is it for you? If you find the video helpful, like and subscribe and share it with your friends. My name is um, Odo Sendaidokai. Thanks for watching and paying attention. And if you have any other questions or feedback, just let me know in the comments. I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.